So what is the difference between leadership and personal leadership? Because that's what this video is all about. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women becoming a leader in their business. Stepping up, building a business, becoming a business owner. So what about leadership? Leadership is everything that you do to take control of your business and to manage your team and to step up towards your partners and collaborate with your partners. So those are all actions that you take and things that you do. Then there's personal leadership. Personal leadership is about what do you do when nobody is watching, when there's no spectators, who are you then? So that is about the things you do that make you be being a leader. So who do you have to be? Well, we've created five areas about personal leadership which is mindset, body set, heart set, spirit set, and soul set. And those five define who you are as a person, the person being the leader. How do you show up? Are you an inspirational person? Do people want to follow you? Do people trust you? Do people see that you're competent? Do they feel aligned with your mission, with where you're leading the business towards? All of those things are highly important. Do you have charisma or not? You don't have to have charisma as a leader, but it helps. Maybe you're an old style leader. You like to manipulate and you like to make people do what you want them to do. That's not the kind of leadership I'm talking about today. So let's dive into the five aspects of personal leadership. First of all, mindset. Everything you believe, everything that's going on in your mind. Um, and that goes back to, to your roots. Uh, what was your upbringing? What environment did you grow up in? Those determine beliefs, personal experience in the past. All of them create who you are today. And no matter what you believe, that is how you show up. So if you believe you're not a competent leader, you're probably going to come across as hesitant, as undecisive, as changing directions a lot. Then there's body set. Your body is your temple, so you need to cherish your body. How do you nurture your body? Do you sleep well enough? Do you eat well enough? Do you exercise enough? Are you fit and healthy? Or do you overeat? have a lot of stress because you can't manage your emotions and your thoughts, you're always busy working, do you have a big stomach, especially men often have that when they are in, um, in business. Your body being your temple determines how you can show up. Are you fit enough? Do you look healthy enough? All of those things are important for you to feel good, but also to come across as being a good leader. Now there's spirit set. That's all about your intuition. How is your connection with the quantum field? With the field where all and everything is already there. It's important for leaders to be connected so that you can trust and that you can make intuitive decisions and get them across, even if you have no idea where they're going, but because your actions speak louder than words, 
People trust you and they want to be with you and they want to follow you. Because it's not easy when you have a connection with the quantum field. Because sometimes people don't see what you want. They, they don't have that connection. Next thing we talk about is heart set. And that's where the elevated emotions are. Are you compassionate? Do you love what you do? Do you love your team? Are you grateful for being who you are, where you are, for your job, for your team, for everything? Is that what you vibrate all the time? What are your feelings? What are your emotions? Because they determine your actions. They determine what you radiate. They determine what you vibrate. And then there's soul set. And soul set is about why are you here? Why are you here on earth? What is the mission that you got when you entered your body? It's important to know. Because if that's what you are doing and being, then you are in alignment. Then you are doing everything that is supposed to be. Then things are working in flow, then things will come your way. You're not fighting. It's easy. So that's all about personal leadership. And every business owner has to be a leader, even if you are just on your own, because you do talk to other people. You do have to sell yourself. You do probably work with other people. Are you the leader that is needed to bring your business to the next level? Will you answer the question? I don't know, but I can help you. And if that's what you feel called to, why don't we schedule a call? 15 minute call where I will explain who I am, who you are, we just get to know each other. Well, you probably already know me because of all the videos that, uh, that I'm creating. Um, and during these 15 minutes, my sole goal is to be with you, give you some tips, see if I can somehow contribute to wherever you are at the moment. And yes, maybe we do want to take on the conversation to another level. Let's see. If not, you know, I'm just as happy because I love having these conversations with my uh, tribe. Um, next week there will be another video about personal leadership or leadership in general. And I'm hoping that you have a good day and see you next week. Bye bye.